These guys do so much work, and I said we're gonna do a little filming today, and the first thing is like, let me clean my desk. Everything good? Great. Fantastic. Great. Jessa, how, how are things? Good. <laughs> Jessa is my right-hand man, so to speak. She does everything for me. So when you people call here and you want to speak to me, you're probably getting Jessa most of the time. And she'll tell you, I'm not available because I'm working in the shop. So anyway, thank you, Jessa. You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a story about something unusual. I see a lot of old cars around here, man. What's the story with that? We got some uh, old weird, Dodge. Weird wave of classics. Yeah, yeah, like that old Dodge. Yeah, the 1964 Dodge Polaris. So <laughs> yeah, guy just got a new transmission installed and he wants us to wire up a uh, reverse lights. That's it? That's it. <sighs> Nothing too crazy. Give me something tough. Okay, okay. I, got, I got a good one. Okay. So I got a guy, uh, 2005 Dodge Ram 3500. He suspects he blew a motor in the middle of a snowstorm. Uh, in Six, seven? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. okay. So it's been stuck in Price City. He is now on his way here. He's towing it in uh, to have us confirm it needs a motor and do what? a rebuild. And why does he think, I mean, clacking, making noise, just shut down. Why does he think it needs a motor? It's exactly All that. those, okay. Yeah, yeah, all the normal symptoms. I'm gonna start selling the best insurance policy I believe a, a guy can put on a motor on these diesels is a uh, exhaust gas temp probe and a monitor if he doesn't already have one and understand how important that monitoring that is. You know, we talked about that. Phenomenal concept. Yeah. That, like, well. got me really excited to hear about that. <laughs> it's so available on a diesel and so, you know, so important, that mm. knowledge of that, you know, that a guy can back out of that. Yeah. You know, the problem is he's getting too much fuel and not enough air and, boy, it just, it'll, it'll just take your exhaust mm. temps, go like that, and it wipes these motors out, especially mm. a 6.7. Because yeah. that's a six seven is you know they don't have a lot of issues unless you melt them down. Yeah, and a lot of people's questions were, how do I foresee uh, a stuck fuel injector and right. prevent it from melting they, down my yeah, motor? Yeah, okay? yeah, so, Have a monitor that you're actually going to monitor with maybe an alarm on or something yeah. like that, and set set a parameter that if you get more than fourteen hundred degrees for over a minute or something like that, you got an issue. Yeah. You, you know, and your issue is maybe you just need to back out of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, be be gentle. There's a way to prevent that yeah hey folks we we love to do motors i mean that's what we do but we we would rather make give you a motor back that'll last twice as long as the one you had so that, that's what we're talking about here let's go all right man thanks dude look at this thing man wow so i heard all we're doing is just wiring up reverse lights this thing's got the original the original upholstery in it look at that car is sweet man that can't be the original headliner, but man, it looks pretty dang good in here. Just look at that. You can tell that driver's seat ain't never been touched. Good for him, man. Yeah. So what are you doing on the reverse lights? What so are he's you... already got set up. Uh -huh. the lights are working. He's got the switch in there. Uh -huh. It seems like the switch isn't quite adjusted right. Uh, so I pretty much just need to find if oh, so the lever. Patch, the... Yeah, the lever and the little pin. They're not quite coming in contact, right? Look at this, guys. Do you hear what's going on right now? This is what a technician is supposed to do. You know, I'm so glad to hear this. Like, he didn't just order a new uh, reverse light switch. So I guess you you probe the switch at the thing and says, yeah, I don't have change. a signal. Then you pull, take the switch out. You worked it manually and you got yeah. a signal. Yeah, so I got a signal. Dude, see the dude, wait a minute. Right. Let's slow down, slow down, slow down. You need a compliment for that, okay? Oh, thank you. So I'm going to give you a fist bump on that. Thank you. So we need to figure out if they have the right combo between switch right. and internals. Uh, see if we can make that can work. Can you, can you see in the, can, I don't know the training. I can this. see in there, but can, I can't, obviously if the switch is in, I can't see how close it actually is. Have you got the switch back in it right I now? I do for now, so it's not dripping out. Okay. So. So he just had the tranny rebuilt. So it tells me, you know, my thinking is, is this in the tail shaft of the tranny or up in the valve body area? Let me, right next lift, to the shifter. Lift it up. Let me look. It's pretty dang straight. Good for this guy. Make sure we note this for the customer, okay? Look here, what he's got is the body seam has come apart and the, the, uh, the filler, the mm -hmm. sealer in there, the caulking, whatever you want to call it, is allowed moisture to get in there and it'll, it'll start a rust spot. Right. He's got this hole here, you know, but as you can see, this is the other problem with this. These are drain holes in the body. I mean, they're there for a purpose. Mm -hmm. 
But look at the ledge that you got up there. So you're gonna yeah, you got at least you, a half inch of water. Yeah, you're gonna hold, hold water up in there. Yeah. And this is why this is all, you know. And the car, if he could, he could get that fixed for now. So would you, will you take a photo of that and then let <laughs> your service rider know? Because if this is my hot rod, I'd want somebody telling me that. Because that, yeah. that's nothing to fix now. So it's right here next to the linkage. This guy. Yeah, it's parking, Paul. Yeah. And will it go in the park? Yeah. Yeah. The reason yeah. this is leaking is because of this aftermarket bracket that you're putting on here for this shift cable, because this ain't factory, man. So what we oh, need to do is spacers. make a little spacer on that and then torque it correctly. This leak here, yeah, the whole gasket's leaking. Yeah. Oh, and this lower ball joint, look at this thing. Do you see how dry mm -hmm. that is? Have you, have you documented that? Not quite all of it yet. I'm still kind of doing my oh, inspection, okay. so. I still need to double check with Donald if uh, we're trying to verify which training he put in this. Dude, this looks like the original motor. I mean, this thing is, looks like it's been in here for a long time, man. Look here. They've only got a few threads on the dang motor mount nuts on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're barely on there. Yeah. Anyway, just note all that stuff. I mean, I'm, I don't want to be rude to the guy, but... Right. But like you said, sometimes it's just nice to know. Yeah, but I mean, I'd give this car a... I'd give this car... I'd buy this car. <laughs> that's a fun little thing, that's yeah. for sure. Guy's kept it in pretty dang good shape, man. Good for him. He put the headers on it though. Yeah. Gotta have headers, man. <laughs> okay. What are you doing, dude? Just tearing this down so it can get sim tested. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna take the pan off of it. We'll pressure wash it, because it's gotta be whist whistling clean, dude. Yep. This is at 5-0. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, everybody wanted to know about that 5.0 uh, Cummins. Um, that thing spun bearings, that block was junk. I mean, could I fix it? Yes, I could fix it. I could make billet caps, then a line board, and uh, put a crank in it, and I'd be fine. But it's just cost prohibitive. But uh, so what we're gonna do on this, this is a used engine. The guy's budget was so much that uh, we, got, we found a used engine. Did it come with an oil filter? There. It's just been laying in the dirt. Look at that. That's not good. Why don't we turn this bad boy over by hand real quick? I mean, when you get one of these like this, let's just take a look at the dang thing. Let's see this one. Jeez. See, this is the problem, folks. Whoa, man. Let's go ahead and get the glow plugs out of it and bore scope this thing real quick. Let's do this because I don't want to blow any of that dirt even down. You know, you got all this dirt up here, man. This isn't going in my machine like this, so it's gonna get steam cleaned at some point, and it would be better to steam clean it with all the covers on it, okay. so that we're not getting shit inside the motor. It's gotta go in my sim test machine, pristinely clean, and you'll need to pull off that lower oil pan, because we'll just uh, stick it, the sump in, in our yeah. pickup, because okay. we're gonna to have to change that oil pan out anyway. Follow me? Yep. Okay, man, try not to make this too big a mess here, because this thing looks like it's gonna get messy. Tyson, you going to hide from me? How you doing, man? Good. Everything all right? Yeah, drove the uh, transit this morning. So far, looking good. My temperatures got up in my exhaust. My soot count came down. It didn't say it was regenning, but it was clearing it out. So this is a car, then, I'll show you. This car's got, how many, did you look at all the invoices on this thing? Did he? I haven't gone through all of them. Holy I know. smoke, dude. There was I flipped like, through a little of them. They did replace a lot of parts. Oh my gosh. So, and that's, I think it was the, the dealer, right? Yeah. The part looks new, and just because you have a new part doesn't mean you can't have a bad part causing a problem, you know? So this is actually, yeah, so this is what... So I would activate it, and no fuel would come out. It was kind of intermittently. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Had he said that he'd replace this, or he... It looks like it's been replaced, but... I don't know, it looks newer. That's one of the most... There's a lot of frustrating it, It's things. funny, they call it a pump, but it's more like a solenoid that lets fuel go... And then I wanted to drive it a, one more Is time. Is this mount on the frame? Yeah, just on the bottom. But I wanted to drive it one more time because they said they kind of had a smell. And I noticed that once that temp got up to about a thousand degrees, you could start noticing a smell of, you know, just the exhaust getting hot. And I'm wondering if that's their smell, smell they're noticing. Gotcha. And it's just kind of the nature of it okay. or if there's something else. That's the other thing I got to look at on it so. well this is uh so people a lot of times people ask me how do we not get comebacks condition cause correction confirm and sometimes the confirmation you got to think about that everybody out there this is a secret how you keep that 
practice going and guys don't, uh, don't do it. Mechanics don't do it. You got to pay them for it. That's, that's, the, that's the point. You know, if you need additional confirmation time, uh, you can tell the customer that and say, this is what we have to do. A lot of times my guys will do these extended test drives and drive the car home at night. You know, you got to put the scan tool back on it. You got to run all your readies. Maybe you have to do a regen for the guy, you know, make sure everything's fine. And that needs to be built correctly. We're professionals here. Uh, you build properly for your time. That, that's, that's the key. You're the man, dude. Oh my goodness. Getting closer. So we got our engines on pallets. Our monster engine line. This is one that's done and ready to be shipped. Been tested, that's why it's on a pan. This whole wall will be a pallet of engines and we'll do a pallet on this wall too. And I figure I can get about 100 engines in this warehouse. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. It's, it's, uh, and I got this, my other machine shop I'm still working on. Not much is happening here, it's kind of slow. I can still got to get the crane in here, but uh, it's coming along. Let's go see the other shop, see what's up. I think every time I do the Fun Friday, the weather's wet and cold. I wish uh, Mother Nature finally gets to that spring business, because Utah is beautiful all year round, but I love spring and fall here for all the seasons here, gorgeous up in the mountains. Now I gotta find my favorite guy in the whole world, one of my best workers, Jason. Jason! <laughs> the heck is he doing back here? The heck are you doing here, strapping? Don't, J yeah. I, I just- I'm finding a noise. This is some hillbilly shit you got going on it here. It worked though, didn't it? <laughs> it what are I, you? You smash your finger one time in that thing trying oh, to I... feel the play in it, and you're like, I'm done. <laughs> so I check in that you yeah. join in it. Yeah, and it feels, it feels good. Feels good. And there's no slop in it. No. It but click that back and forth. Side to side. The bearings junk in it. Was it Hallen? Yeah, it's Hallen and the transfer case transfer case is Hallen, so Oh, is it? Yeah, the you the, you should try taking that thing off. The rear diff or the front transfer? The transfer. Uh, front transfer case. Okay. Yeah. I had to take this off to isolate it because this is howling and clanging in, in the middle of the vehicle to That's be able to listen to the transfer case by itself. Self. So, got that. So the dealer had it, but they didn't, I couldn't hear the transfer case over that. Because when that's spinning up, uh -huh. it's like a stereo under a heat shield. So I pulled this plug out uh -huh. and it's got a bunch of metal on it, but the fluid's pretty clean. It's right there. Yeah, I was just seeing if this looks like the original one and I'm looking It at, is. Yeah. It's only got 46,000 miles uh -huh. on this thing. Does it got metal on it? Yeah, on the magnet. Like I said. On the fill magnet? Yeah. They don't have a drain, huh? No. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fluid quality's okay. So, so somebody's just drained it. Yeah, somebody probably sucked it out and yeah. changed it, but that. You, you wrote all that up? Oh yeah. How much is the transfer case on one of these things? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't. You got to pull anything. the engine to do it, don't you? I don't think so. I think I can get it out. Every time you work on these things, the whole front clip's coming off. <laughs> I mean, you do it, you know, except for an oil change. Okay. Cool, dude. You know, it's my fun Friday, dude. You know, once a week I got to come around and make sure you're still breathing. I'm still alive. What are you doing, glow plugs? No, nah, fuel filter. <laughs> it's it's easier this way. Look, <laughs> I can get so much closer to it. I don't have to bend over. Like Enlighten me. What else are we doing? <laughs> uh, oil filter housing because it was leaking, leaking oil. Yeah. Clean the radiator and all that stuff. So that's why it's, yeah. Gotcha. The rest of it looks good. Your tensioners, idlers. Yeah, replace that idler. Tensioner was new. Waiting for this pulley because that one was bad. You're the master on these things, dude. Hey, these are a piece of cake. Not that well, that's because you've been you've done so <laughs> many of them. <laughs> okay. You still got some sh crap in here that just won't leave, dude. Why? What what is going on here? Parts. The bane of my financial existence. Parts. The access of parts. Ah, is that what we're waiting on at? Yeah, on? that one. The cam. Something wrong with the camshaft again. 
Oh yeah, we still can't get a can for that? We had one, but there's one sitting on the desk in there. I don't know what's going on with it. I hope it's the right one. Okay. That one's pretty good if you want to look in that air box right there. Before I show it to you, I want to, I want to point out we have an old drive belt on here. In fact, it's quite cracked. That's, that's not the drive belt. What is it? That's the, the tube that goes on the inside of the fender well to pick up the fresh air. Okay, well, we're gonna, let, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and let that be a video because this is why I thought it was a drive belt. Look at this, that looked like the back side of a drive belt with the V's on it, doesn't it? But yeah. this is the inner fender well? Yeah, so it's the tube that hooks to the inside. Uh huh. It runs up in the, the wheel and the fender to pick up the fresh air. And it has been wrapped up. It's been sucked in. <laughs> so it's in, it's inside here. Here. This is one of those, has anybody seen that before? So it's the air in, the fresh air intake tube. Yep. Collapses because it's made out of garbage. If it gets any bit of moisture on it. Moisture on it, and you know, hello? Everybody, y'all are never driving your, your trucks when it's raining or snowing, right? <laughs> I guess you're not allowed to do that now. Because <laughs> they made your, your air intake, let's just pull it out of there. This is ridiculous. Okay, Dodge, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Yeah. You got enough, you know, you got enough plastic under these things. What? You just said, let's, let's just go to cloth. I know I'm being a little harsh there, but come on. That's okay. It's pretty bad. Oh, uh, what do we got there, Joey? Some engine crates. We got crates now, more crates. Uh, everybody, I love you. The business is great. Uh, try to get me your cores back a little quicker. I need more cores. What else is going on here today, man? Just simming some engines. And then I gotta build that Hemi for Caden. So listen, my favorite Braxton is not here this morning. What is the deal, dude? I'm not sure. The last couple of days I could tell he was not feeling well or something was off. He texted me a few times to say he was sick. You know, everything you do in your life is training you for something. Yeah. You know, you're training yourself at every moment of your life. So be very careful what you're training yourself for. If you're training yourself to, ah, uh, just quit, I'm not gonna talk to my boss or anybody. Yeah, I don't know if that's what you wanna train yourself for. Wish you the best, Braxton. Dang it. With that said though, you know, even training yourself, I've been there, I was, that was me. Ooh, you know, get real now. You can, uh, <laughs> you can break that habit. It's, it's definitely possible. It's difficult to get out of it, that's for dang sure. Everything on the earth, including your vehicle. You don't maintain them, they go bad. You don't maintain your relationship, they go bad. You don't maintain yourself. Your, your work environment, <laughs> yourself, you know, you go bad. I love this thing, give me a hug. I had an opportunity the other night to take my boys to JP, man. Mr. JP, Jordan Peterson. It's pretty great. He came to Salt Lake City. It's good to see a lot of people wanting to hear about him. He, he's doing a tour called Wrestle with Wrestle God. Wrestle with God. Wrestle with God. And uh, it was interesting. But I'm gonna break old JP down here, and I know people out there, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna think I'm awfully brave or stupid, and I'm both, so <laughs> we'll give that a shot. And I've, teach my, I've taught my son this, so remember how he talked about Abraham and the journey of Abraham and the story? He goes out on his own and he's got challenges and things like that, you know? And so I call that the exercise of your faith or your will, you know, you're gonna, okay, I'm gonna think about this, I'm gonna have that thought, and I'm gonna go out and do it. That's Abraham's journey. And then you're going to have a trial of that exercise. There's gonna be an experience, and then there's gonna be the pros and cons, a judge of that. And the judge is ultimately, how'd that work for you? <laughs> you know, how'd that work for you? And then you get to try it again. Yeah. Of all my sons, Joey is most like me in the sense that uh, it didn't come easy. <laughs> it, to put it nicely <laughs> how many times have you quit how many times oh, gosh yeah more than you fired me yeah so we finally worked through that thing yeah. all together now oh. thank you it's been great thank you all right i already gave you a hug yeah that's about <laughs> jesse has got a brother in fact we call uh his brother jesse's brother and jesse's brother's our editor he does all our youtube editing and uh he, he's doing a great job, so thank you, Dalton. What else you got going today, dude? Uh, do some Hemi heads. Ah, oh. yeah. Are we? Is this setting for up, setting up my cutters for that uh, green charger? Finally. Yeah. 
So I just put some new exhaust guides in it. Got them honed and now I'm setting up my cutters, doing a nice valve job on them. Cool. We doing just stock? Uh, I think he or he already had some upgraded springs in uh -huh. them. So we're gonna put those back in. I believe he already had some like hardened push rods and stuff, so he's already set. Yeah, so with Hemi's, the only thing you've gotta do is you just get rid of the solenoids, so you put a block off in for the solenoids and then uh, just change the lifters. Yeah. That was the original problem with this engine is they changed the lifters, but they, oh, they, that's they, right. they didn't change the solenoids. That's right. So they, so they what, the solen solenoids were like gunked up still? With well, yeah, metal and then, so it doesn't allow oil pressure to the certain lifters. It changes the oil pressure, and that's probably what failed that roller bearing. All right, I'm gonna go talk to uh, Dylan. Dude, it's fun Friday, and I haven't even seen you. Look at this, man. Like feels like it feels like we should get some steaks. And... Yeah, I know, right? We need to start chopping up some steaks here. Wow, <laughs> that's the nicest that top will ever look. What are you working on? So this one, they keep having a headlight blow. Is this uh, Park that, or that place Westgate? in Park City? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But someone's fixed a melted wire before or something, but the locking tab is gone. I can just pull it right so out. So maybe it's not. So I think it's kind of wiggling loose and then starting to arc. And... Yeah, I need to put a new pigtail. Yeah. Let, so let's talk gonna... about this. Let's see if he's the guy that did fix the wiring in here did it right. No, he didn't. See, on this side, you saw how they've used the heat sink? That's good to see, but this isn't. It makes no sense to me. So guys, if you're gonna do a job right, and then this one is missing the clip, or is it on yeah, the- Yeah, the locking tab is Yeah, broke. the locking tab. Again, guys, four C's, condition, cause, correction, confirm. Confirm your repairs right. Because if it's not, it's not. I mean, there's not a lot of gray area in automotive repair, is there, Dylan? Nope, there isn't. <laughs> but it, there's, a lot of people seem to think there is. It's a lot easier to do it right the first time. Anything else going on today? We got a truck out there that needs a motor, I guess. How's that, how's that uh, Duramax? Do you get that all done? Or yeah. no, I'm sorry, the Eco Diesel. Yeah, it's, I got to charge up the AC system. Have now, you? So. Have, Oh my gosh, that's that stuff that's got one, two, it's a YF, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, YF. Yeah. All right, well, it's good to see you today. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's what uh, Fridays are all about. It's fun, it's great, and we'll be ready for Monday. Thanks, guys.